it has not been proven that I was the one that hit the little girl. He's not even taking accountability. You admit of hitting, a, running over a bike, but not the baby. A Muskegon Heights man is now charged in the deadly hit and run that killed a six year old girl. Taylor Davis died shortly after an SUV hit her yesterday and never stopped. He was riding her. She was riding her bike along 6th Street near Maplewood. Tonight, Dakota Welch is charged in her death. 24 Hour News 8's Marvis Herring is, is live tonight. He spoke with the victim's friends and family moments after the suspect claimed he didn't do it. Marvis. Good evening. This courtroom bubbled over with emotions as six year old Taylor Davis's mother and loved ones sat just a few feet away from the suspect Dakota Welch's family. And for the first time, just a little while ago, we heard Welch's side of things just a little while ago. I just don't understand. Confused and upset, Tamara Davis, the mother of six-year-old Taylor, asked that we speak with her good friend Kimberly. Davis was still processing hearing the man accused of killing her daughter deny any guilt. I can't imagine. I can't imagine how she feels. It's just a hurting feeling to lose your baby to some tragic that somebody else has caused. Uh, the evidence here suggests that the prosecution asked that Dakota Welch's bond be set at $250,000, citing several previous driving issues, the seriousness of this crash, not to mention the fact that he doesn't have a license. Welch was quick to react when the state claimed he fled the scene and tried to remove the license plate on the SUV he reportedly hit Davis with. I did not take any plate off of that vehicle. It is not, it has not been proven that I was the one that hit the little girl. I did in fact hit a bicycle. There is no blood Mr. so far. Mr. That With each word, Mr. the emotions from Davis's Mr. loved ones grew stronger. He's not even taking accountability. You admit of hitting, a, running over a bike, but not the baby. Kind of confusing to me, but. A memorial in honor of the recent kindergarten grad sits near the crash site today. I couldn't wrap my head around it. We were there as Monique Bailey, Davis's cousin, paid her respects. She's already missing the young girl's tight hugs. After sitting in court today, she's joining calls for justice. He's only 19. Um, if you've done this much damage by 19, and then this. I don't think we have to fight hard. The evidence is there. Dakota Welch's explanation of what happened did not seem to help his case. The judge actually doubled the prosecution's request, setting his bond at $500,000 cash. Tonight, you can show your support for Taylor Davis, the victim in this whole case. They're holding a vigil tonight at 8 o'clock at the intersection of 6th and Maplewood Avenue. That's in Muskegon Heights. I'm told that people will be arriving as early as 7 o'clock. We're live in Muskegon. Marvis Herring, 24 Hour News 8.